Now, y'all see this right here. This is live as of right now. You go to H&M.com and you look up this printed hoodie. All right. This printed youth hoodie where a black child model is wearing a printed youth hoodie that says coolest monkey in the jungle. Monkey and jungle are negative connotations for black people. We know this. White supremacists know this. And you see that there's other child models who are wearing printed hoodie shirts. This one says mangrove jungle with the tiger that's orange survival expert. This one is another printed hoodie, right? With various different animals on it. But the black model specifically has one that says coolest monkey in the jungle. All right. Y'all can go to the site right now. I have the link in the description. This is live right now. So it is definitely time for me to boycott H&M ASAP. You know, this is I'm, I'm just. Yes, I, I do. Or I did shop at H&M. I bought a lot of stuff for my kids at H&M. And I got receipts for stuff they haven't worn yet. I will be returning those things back tomorrow. Um, But man. Coolest monkey in the jungle. White supremacists. These white supremacists, man, they are just, they're very slick. Very slick in, in conniving with their racism. Very slick in conniving with their racism. Um, I expect this, I, I, you know, this is probably, this is still brand new. This was shared on Facebook. It already has like over 5,000 shares. That's how I found out about it. But this is live right now. You can still go to the site and look at this depiction of a black child. Okay. As a monkey in the jungle. All right. With the word cool is in the front. Like that makes a goddamn difference, please. Um, But yeah, let's, let's, let's boycott H&M all together. Um. And I expect H&M to uh, remove this within 24 hours. I expect them to uh, release a statement and apology, which is typical. And they say, you know, some typical statement about, oh, we apologize and that will never happen again. And, um, you know, the person behind the scenes is going to be naive. You know, this is this is the thing that white supremacists do. They like to act naive and you know, act like they didn't know what happened or what was going on. I expect that to happen within the next 24 to 48 hours. Okay. Um, but again, this is on their site. I believe this is on the, uh, the European version of their site, not the U S version, but it doesn't matter. It's on their website. It's on their domain. And, um, yeah, this is what you're looking at right now. Coolest monkey in the jungle and a black child is the model. There's two other white European child models wearing hoodie. Uh, like I said, graphic printed hoodie. And you don't see no connotations of coolest monkey, which of course, like I've said before, people classified as white are the true monkeys. They're more related to monkeys than black people. Okay. They are the troglodyte niggers. That I've always talked about. All right. This is an old picture from 1850. In the 1800s. And this is a chimpanzee. Or the scientific name is troglodyte nigger. That dwells in caves. They are known as Neanderthals or cavemen. Okay. So again. From a DNA perspective. From a haplogroup perspective. People classified as white are more direct descendants to the rhesus macaque aka monkey aka troglodyte niggers those are the monkeys and you know the white supremacists like to do these reverse psychology games and put these negative connotations towards black people as monkeys in the jungle well we know that's a fallacy at least you know people who study know that's a fallacy and that's a lie all right point blank and simple but this is the facebook post here that i was talking about see 
the black model wearing the coolest monkey in the jungle and the white model, the white child models are wearing regular standard graphic uh, hoodies, you know? So, yeah, family, it is definitely time. I'm definitely uh, boycotting H&M indefinitely, indefinitely. Um, you know, and I've really, to be honest, I've really been shopping as far as clothes and apparel because I was buying stuff for my kids during the holidays, but I was recently making purchases and I've been doing business with this local, uh, business owner or this, this local business in, in my city, Miami gardens for probably six months or so. And it's a black owned business. And I'll say it. I'll say the name is, um, is a apparel company in Miami gardens called Three Eighty fashion. And I buy a lot of stuff online from them. It's a black owned business. Um, and you know, that's what I do. I, I, I try to support black owned business. Cooperative economics, one of the principles in Kwanzaa. All right. Cooperative economics. So I always try to support black businesses. And um, it's it's a lot more easier for me to shop online and more convenient to do that. Um, that's what I like to do. Um, so and that particular uh, business, they do have a website where you can shop online and they usually ship out your items within 24 hours. And um, the shipment is fast. So. I would encourage you guys to, when you boycott H&M, support a black owned business, preferably locally where you live and shop there. Just continue to shop there. Um, you can still do some bargain hunting online for some, you know, apparel for your kids. Um, but just think black first and, you know, almost also convenience is key as well. Make sure it's, it's, it's convenient for you. You know, a lot of black folks, they, revert back to convenience um like for instance when i went to um cancel my 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 banking account with wells fargo when i did that was 2016 and went to a black owned bank and there's only one black owned bank in the state of florida which is one united bank and the atm is all the way down it's like at least 25 minutes away from where i live the actual ATM for the bank itself. Now there's affiliated network ATMs that I can go to, which is still kind of inconvenience, but I would rather be, I would rather be inconvenienced by not supporting a white owned institution that continues to make profit and exhibit systemic issues that oppresses our people, right? And et cetera. And um, not having all of the resources that you need, particularly uh, with the black business, right? But I'd rather be inconvenienced by that than support a white owned institution that's continues to, that, that continues to disparage our people, that makes mockery of our people like H&M is doing right now with this black child wearing a hoodie that says coolest monkey in the jungle straight up so again think black first think black businesses and also think about convenience is it convenient for you continue to shop around i do a lot of sleep i do a lot of stuff as well on on instagram where i look for um apparel companies and clothing companies that i can support and try to purchase their products and stuff like that so I, I look around online a lot, Instagram, eBay, you know, stuff like that. And, and locally where I live. So again, family, this is fresh and new. I'll have the link in the description. I'm not sure how long they'll have this up. I'll say within 24 to 48 hours, I expect H&M to take this down and I expect them to have an apology issued. That's what I expect. Now, if they, if they, if that happens or not, it is what it is, but I'm boycotting them and definitely doesn't matter whether they do it or not. I'm boycotting them indefinitely, point blank and simple, not tolerating this at all. And I suggest you guys do the same boycott H&M. If you already did hey, great for you. Um, but again, I'm boycotting them now and it's indefinite point blank and simple. All right, family. So those are my thoughts on that. Leave your comments down below in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think um, about this black child wearing this hoodie that says coolest monkey in the jungle. All right, family. Until next time.
Chauncey, a.k.a. The Black Separatist, signing out. Peace.